When I think of asking the most important questions of the Federal Reserve, I can only think of one congressman who is willing to do so, and with the fortitude to be able to make the questions and demand the answers. We'll talk about it and so much more in this video as we explore. There is one congressman who has been a champion of sound money, more so than any other congressman that I am aware of, and I think this is really a good sign, and hopefully more will follow his lead here, because we need more sound money policies coming from the federal government, not just state governments. However, the, really, the battlefield is on the state level, but nonetheless, there's a lot of support here, and I think that if this one congressman can make waves by getting some of these questions answered from the Federal Reserve, he may further make a name for himself, and that is Representative Alex Mooney from West Virginia. And there is a new letter that he has written asking some questions of the Federal Reserve. I'm going to be referencing a piece here from um, MoneyMetals.com that talks ab about what the representative is asking. Because there's been a lot of things going on in the world, and gold has played a major role, especially with what central banks are doing. And this is the focus of the queries from Representative Alex Mooney. As central banks across the globe continue to scoop up gold bullion for the reserves at record rates, uh, Mr. Mooney is asking Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell some pressing questions about gold. Yes, indeed. And gold is not talked about in many of these hearings. In fact, the last famous exchange we saw about gold was way back when uh, U.S. Representative Ron Paul from Texas made some queries and asked, Is gold money? And, you know, the, uh, essentially the, the chairman at the time, Bernanke, really did not have a very satisfactory answer. He said, well, it's a store of value, but doesn't really consider it money. Uh, but nonetheless, gold currently trades at all-time highs in most currencies. Market insiders claim that Germany's Bundesbank is seeking again to repatriate some of its gold vaulted with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Some of you may remember the last time they did that, repatriate some gold. We found out about rehypothecation. The Fed recently refused to respond to inquiries from the Gold Antitrust Action Committee about whether any foreign gold had been repatriated this year in 2023. In 2013, the Bundesbank asked the New York Fed to return 300 tons of its gold, but the bank inexplicably took more than three years to fulfill the request because of rehypothecation. This incident raised the doubts about the status and security of foreign gold vaulted with the New York Fed, since Germany's gold had been assumed to be held unencumbered and in a segregated area within the Fed's vault. And that's 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 the crucix, the the crux of the matter here. But just this week, Representative Moody wrote to Federal Reserve Board Chairman Jerome Powell. He said this. I remain interested in the Federal Reserve's activities with respect to the gold market. The gold price now hitting all-time highs is, in some ways, a report card on your management of the current system of unbacked Federal Reserve notes and bank credit. Boy, is he spot on with that very first sentence. It doesn't get any more clear than that because what have we been witnessing here? We've been witnessing inflation. The more they print these, the less valuable these become. This, folks, is unsound money. And by the way, it's not even paper money because the, uh, the Massachusetts Crane Paper Companies uh, has a secret as to what the actual recipe is. But we know it's cotton fiber linen. There's other secret ingredients in these that we just really don't know about. And nonetheless, one thing we do know is that essentially it's, it's, not, it's going to come to a point in time where this is not going to be even worth the paper it's printed on if we're not careful. And, and it's not even paper, cotton fiber linen. In fact, likely the recipe of this may be even worth more. Actually, I think these cost about 14 cents to make. 
So we're still in the clear there. They're still making money, but certainly not hand over fist. It may be splinter of a fingernail over the rest of the fingernail. Nonetheless, this is losing value because of inflation. The Fed creates the problem and attempts to solve the problem with, with measures that are uh, hurt the economy, which is what they're doing now. And uh, nonetheless, it is a report card for sure on their management of the current system because they are unbacked, unbacked by anything. I'm so glad that Representative Mooney said that and sent that letter to Congress um, that for that statement here. The letter goes on. I am increasingly concerned that actions by the Fed, the U.S. Treasury, and deficit spenders in Congress have undermined the world's confidence in our currency, making our nation more financially vulnerable to say nothing of the impact of inflation on our citizens. So everything he said before that is just not even taking into consideration inflation. Let's parse this out. Concern about the Fed, Treasury, and deficit spenders. Deficit spending is the problem, folks. That's what causes all of this. That is what begins. So the, uh, the, the, the Federal Reserve must, uh, in order to ba balance the sheets, they've got to print more money. And there's, they're spending so much, they can't even tax it away out of the debt they're creating and the deficit spending. So they just create money, causing a hidden tax on us all, for sure. But, you know, it's just insane what's going on there. And, and it has undermined the world's confidence in the currency because many nations around the world are uh, certainly de-dollarizing, or at least attempting to, and making strides to the point now where we have about uh, 58 percent of the uh, of the global transactions utilizing the dollar, which is still a very big number, huge number. It's a voluminous number when you think about all the transactions around the world with foreign exchange reserves and the like. However, it used to be well over 60 percent. So they are chipping away at the dollar and they have a desire to do even more. Why are they doing this? Because they are accumulating gold. They're being very transparent about it as well. And Mr. Moody knows this. So uh, I am increasingly concerned about inflation, he says here. So he's asking the following three questions. And he wants these in writing no later than the 15th of January 2024. Now, that gives them plenty of time. We'll see what kind of answers they craft, or even if they do craft answers to this. Number one, has the Federal Reserve or the Federal Reserve Bank of New York repatriated any gold to foreign nations this year? If so, to which countries and how much? You know, it's a shame he even has to ask this question, but they're so secretive over there. In fact, we haven't had an audit of our gold reserves since 1953. And even as such, many people question the transparency of that audit. Maybe it, heck, I'd be happy with a translucent audit as opposed to a transparent one at this point in time. Number two, how much gold is the Federal Reserve vaulting for foreign nations now? And how does this compare to the amount vaulted at the end of 2022? You know, he asked this because apparently he has some idea of how much it was vaulted in 2022. So there must be some data that's coming out. It's just that they've been very slow to get it out for this year. So he's asking point blank. And maybe perhaps he asked it last year. We just don't know. Um, and it'd be very fascinating to see. Number three, does the New York Fed statement of November the 9th asserting that the Federal Reserve and U.S. Treasury Department did not intervene in the foreign exchange markets during the July-September 2023 quarter cover the gold market as well? That's right. They did put a, a statement out there, and it's kind of an interesting statement indeed because basically they're bragging about them being the cleanest of the dirty shirts in a laundry pile but not intervening with these foreign exchange markets. A pretty, pretty fascinating, pretty interesting statement, for sure. Now, Mooney's questions about Federal Reserve intervention, interventions in the gold market echo concerns raised by some traders and policymakers that the Fed may be surreptitiously managing the gold price. Uh, the central bank has disclosed its interventions in many other markets, but it is not admitted to gold interventions. Americans deserve to know more details about the status and use of, of the U.S. gold reserves, including, by the way, this is my uh, interjection here, that they need to allow for a full and transparent audit of the gold reserves. 
uh, across the board. Um, and we should know about other activities, particularly as, as runaway debt and deficits combined with the weaponizations of the SWIFT payment system, and the dollar is the, is the crux of that, threaten the world's confidence in the Federal Reserve note, according to Stephen, Stephen Gleason, president of Money Metals Exchange. Uh, as you know, Representative Mooney has long been a leader on sound money issues in Congress, having introduced reforms such as the Gold Reserve Transparency Act, the Monetary Metals Tax Neutrality Act, and the Gold Standard Restoration Act, and the Digital Dollar Pilot Prevention Act. I've actually have uh, I've recovered some of those topics um, as those bills have been issued because I'm a huge fan of Representative Alex Mooney. I came this close to actually being able to interview him, even got in touch with his staff, but um, uh, was about to get set up, but I've not heard anything back for the interview. Would love to be able to interview Representative Mooney. Um, so there you have it. What an interesting uh, letter, and I'm glad that he wrote it. Uh, this is amazing. I wish more Congress people had, uh, you know, the inkling to do this type of thing and had more interest in what the Federal Reserve is doing and what's going on with the gold that we have here in our in our country. All 8,133 tons of it. Um, I think the American people should have the utmost confidence that we actually do have the gold, first and foremost. But likely that's a wish list. That's a pipe dream. Why? Because I believe we have the gold, but they'll never do it. Why? Because then, then it will bring a lot more attention to gold uh, to, to Americans. And they don't want that. They want you to continue to uh, deal and debt instruments like this instead of sound money like this because when you have gold you empower yourself not government and they don't want that by any stretch it doesn't matter if it's a republican or democrat administration it really does seem like alex mooney is the only one that is uh, championing this thing and talking about it in congress and it's a crying shame it should be a rally cry in my view but that's just my view. Let me know what your view is. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. Post your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch. And encourage you to please subscribe to the channel. I do post daily videos and keep up with the latest news. Comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>